Hey guys, this is Robert with Malai Law. We help entrepreneurs just like you start their businesses without dealing with the complicated legal forms. We're also the number one highest rated business law firm for entrepreneurs with more than 1,500 five-star Google reviews. Today we are going to talk about six common things you can use an ITIN for. First, let me explain what an ITIN even is. An ITIN is an Individual Taxpayer Identification Number. ITIN numbers are issued by the IRS to people that do not possess and are not eligible for a social security number. The purpose is essentially to ensure that everyone in the U.S., regardless of immigration status, can pay taxes. However, if you are eligible for social security number, then you are not eligible for an ITIN. So overall, the ITIN is used for uh, you to put on your tax return in place of a social security number, but it is important to note that an ITIN does not provide you with legal status or work authorization. So you're probably wondering what your ITIN is really used for, and I'm going to explain the most popular reasons that you should obtain an ITIN if you are not able to get a social security number. First, the ITIN allows you to pay income taxes in the U.S. on your earnings. Even if you are not authorized to work in the U.S., you must still pay taxes, and having an ITIN is what allows you to do this. Second, an ITIN can be used to allow you to open a bank account. Many banks in the U.S. will require that you provide them with either a social security number or an ITIN before they agree to open up a personal bank account for you or business bank account. Third, an ITIN can be used to provide proof of residency. At some point, an immigrant in the U.S. may need to prove how long he or she has been in the United States. In this situation, the immigrant can use the ITIN number and the tax returns that were filed with it to prove his or her residency. Fourth, an ITIN can be used to obtain your driver's license. It is important to check with your state beforehand to determine if your state allows you to get a driver's license with an ITIN rather than a social security number, but some states do allow an ITIN to replace the social security number when applying for the driver's license. The fifth common reason individuals get ITINs is to get a credit card. Generally, a credit card company can't require that you provide them with a social security number if you don't have one. However, they can require that you provide them with an ITIN as a substitute. A credit card company can't deny you simply because you are using an ITIN to get the credit card. And keep in mind that foreign credit does not usually transfer over to the US, so it is definitely something you may want to consider doing so that you can start building credit in the US. Similarly, this also applies to getting various loans, such as a loan to purchase a car. So oftentimes banking institutions will ask you for the ITIN to get the car loan. And lastly, the ITIN may be required by various account registrations. Many individuals these days are involved in online businesses that require online accounts, such as Stripe, PayPal, and Shopify. So if you have an online business, or if you're thinking about starting an online business, it is important for you to check with your various payment gateways and online tools, such as Amazon and Shopify, to see if you need an ITIN. While it is not required by all online account registrations, many of them are starting to require the ITIN. So overall, the six most popular uses for an ITIN are number one, to pay taxes in the US, number two, to open up a bank account, number three, to provide proof of residency, number four, to obtain a driver's license in some states if it's permissible, number five, to obtain a credit card and start building a line of credit, and number six, to register for various online accounts. So if you're an entrepreneur looking to register your business in the US, then click on the link below to schedule a free consultation with us. During the phone call, we will be able to determine your specific needs and we will hold your hand throughout the process. So go ahead and click the link below. Also, if you have any questions, just post them below and my team and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. See you guys in the next video.